Hey guys, I know it's been forever since I've made a video, and uh, there's really not much excuse. Last week it was just really stormy and cloudy, and <gasps> my kitty! Hi kitty! Oh my goodness, it's my kitty! Hello you! Are you hungry? Are you hungry, dearest? Hello, cute one! Hi! Who's that kitty? Who's that? Are you hungry? Let me get you some food. I'll be right back. So that was my kitty. Um, that was totally unexpected, but of course I had to stop the video so I could go give her some food. And um, isn't she the cutest thing ever? She's not really my kitty. If you um, follow me on Twitter or Instagram, she's a, a stray that I feed all the time and she knows me and she lets me pick her up and I've tried to take her in twice and uh, um, I actually have kind of dubbed myself the kitty the um, the crazy catnapper <laughs> because I've actually tried to take in two strays in the past like couple weeks so um, I just yeah I'm not called a, cr a crazy cat lady for nothing <laughs> I love me some kitties so, um, but yeah, oh, I, when I tr I've tried to take her in twice before, and she's just so afraid of my cats. And they're not even mean to her, they just are really curious about her, and they come up and sniff her. And she gets really, you know, she gets on the defensive, and she even gets scared of me. So, um, I, I don't want her to live outside, I, I want to take her in, but I don't want her to be scared either, so I don't know. I'm going to keep trying. But anyways, I thought I would do, I didn't really want to do a haul video. I thought I would do um, instead a kind of, I am so bad at filming. There we go. Okay. I would thought, I thought I would do like a little drugstore roundup type video um, because there's a lot of new products out there and some good products and some not so good products. I thought I would kind of share with you and some of them aren't actually new I just wanted to talk about them anyways so um one thing these aren't exactly super new but the simple cleansing wipes are my favorite facial wipes ever um I used to like the Neutrogena ones because they're really wet but they're very fragranced and they would make me break out if I did not wash my face instantly afterwards but these ones I can use them and then wait a couple hours before washing my face and my skin is fine and they're not fragranced. They're, they, they're good at taking off my eye makeup. They don't take off everything but I don't expect makeup wipes too. I always wash my face after anyways. So these are really good and they're like five bucks. I actually got these for two dollars because I had a uh, five dollar CVS thing um, and they were seven dollars at CVS which they're cheaper other places just so you know. Um, Another new thing that I've only used once so far, so I can't really say if I like it, is um, this L'Oreal Eversleek Precious Oil Treatment, which is clearly a rip of Moroccan oil. Um, I'm running very low of my Moroccan oil, on my Moroccan oil, and I thought I would give this a try, but um, it was $12.99. It smells good. I just put it on my hair when it's wet. Um, I didn't blow dry my hair. I, I used it last night when I took a shower last night, but I didn't blow dry my hair, so I can't really say if it works as well. I just threw my hair up in a bun, and this is what happens. <laughs> so, um, I can't tell if you guys can see me that well, because I never look at the screen. But, um, oh, one thing that I've tried from L'Oreal that I've really liked so far, I've only used it twice, once again. This is not a full review of this either so I can't tell you if it breaks me out or not but um, this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation this has been out in the UK for a while now but this just came out in the in the States I got it at Walgreens I'm in the shade N1-2 soft ivory slash classic ivory this is a neutral shade um, and it matches really well it's a really good foundation. It's as close as I've been able to find to my Lancome foundation, the Ten Ton Idol Ultra 24 Hour, which I hate saying. But um, yeah, I, I really like this so far. I wore it yesterday and I'm wearing it today also. 
So, um, we'll see. And I apply it with a brush. Just a flat top. I use an e.l.f. an e.l.f. flat top foundation brush. Um, okay. Next, also, these are exclusive to CVS. The Milani Shadow Eyes eye pencils. And I have had this one for, like, two months, I think. This is Brown Deluxe, and I love this. This one I got, this is Winter White. I got this specifically to wear in the inner corners because I really wanted this Laura Mercier Sterling one, but I thought, you know, this is only six bucks. <laughs> so, and it works really well. I'm wearing it today, too. So, I really like both of these. Um, and let's see. I've talked about these before. But this is one of the new L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. This is the shade Liquid Diamond. I'm not going to open it because they're pressed pigments and they're really messy. But I'm also wearing that today. What's funny is I didn't know what kind of video to make. And then I started doing my makeup and I was like, ding, ding. <laughs> drugstore stuff. Because I'm kind of loving some drugstore stuff right now. But um, well, let's just stick with L'Oreal. Um, another thing is these new L'Oreal Caress Lipsticks. I've yet to see the whole line be in stock. Um, I've seen them now at Target and I, they were at Walgreens too with in the same display as this foundation and they also had a BB cream um, and the infallible eyeshadows all on this huge display. It was like walking into heaven for me. <laughs> but um, these two shades, this is Sunset Angora. And this is Cotton Pink. I post like tons of things on Instagram and I always um, share my Instagram things with Twitter. So, um, but I don't know. I really want to love these. I love the packaging. I love, um, I don't know. I want to love them, but there, there hasn't been a shade yet that I've really, really loved. So, there's still a few shades I haven't seen yet, so we'll see. Um, and then this, I think I've, I've talked, I know I've talked about this on Instagram before. This is one of the new Maybelline porcelain lipsticks. This is 865 Nude Nuances, and I love this. This is my kind of shade. Um, the one thing is that it's kind of drying, so I like to wear a gloss over it or a balm underneath. But um, I just think more drugstores. No more drugstore brands need to come out with shades like this because there's definitely an audience out there for them. Um, another Maybelline product is this Mega Plush Mascara. Um, I'm kind of of two minds about this. One thing is that you'll see when I pull it out, the wand is really wiggly, so it's kind of hard to control. I like the big fat brush, and it does a good job, especially if I curl my lashes first. But um, it makes my lashes feel really dry and crispy and it just doesn't give me as much, like I feel like I always end up topping it off with Lancome Hypnostrama or something. It's just not as dramatic as, of a mascara as I would like, but it is good. It's not bad and I'm using it on my lower lashes because I like, I like the effect of my lower lashes. I haven't really noticed it smudging either or flaking, so that's another plus. Um, Okay, let's see. Another thing. This Revlon Colorstay Smoky Shadow Stick. This is one of those things where I was just like, ooh, a new thing, I wanna try it. Um, and I got this originally thinking I would use this in the inner corners, but um, this is the shade 220 Volcanic. I hate this. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like this at all. If anyone wants it, <laughs> let me know. Um, yeah, I just, I don't like this. The pigmentation's not very good. It's hard to apply. Um, I've heard some people rave about it, but maybe I just got the wrong shade. I don't know. I don't like it. Um, this actually is not a drugstore product, but it's a really inexpensive product, so I want to talk about it anyways. This is the NYX Eye Slash Eyebrow Pencil. I'd like to see you use this on your brows, seriously. Um, this is the shade 930 Teal. I mean, it's nothing in, like crazy good, but I love 
this kind of color on my um, lower lash line for summer. Um, usually I just pair it with like a brown smoky eye or like a bronze eye and um, it's just really pretty. I wore it yesterday. So yep, I like that. That was, I can't remember how much it was, but it was really inexpensive. Um, another thing is this, this is um, from Boots, which they sell at Target. It's the number seven beautifully balanced purifying cleanser. I'm kind of a dork because what got me with this was I really liked the smell. It's like just like a really clean um, it's hypoallergenic. It's not like it's not like a floral scent or anything like that. It's not fragranced, but it just smells like an expensive face wash, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just nice. I like using it in the shower. I've used about half the bottle already. I've kind of been using cleansing oils to wash my face only, which is kind of a new thing for me, but I've been really liking doing that, so I haven't used it much lately. Another thing which is not, um, I got this from Whole Foods, and I'm talking about it in this video because it's it was pretty inexpensive, and it's really a good facial toner. It's alcohol-free, which is perf perfect for me because um, I don't like alcohol in toners because it dries out your skin, and it also can irritate your skin. But um, this is the Rose, the Thayers, I don't know, it could be Thayers, I'm thinking Thayers. It's the Rose Petal uh, Witch Hazel Toner with Aloe Vera. Um, this is so gentle that I can, like when, when you wash your face, sometimes you have excess mascara under your eye. It's so gentle that when I put this on a cotton pad, I can go under my eye with it and it doesn't irritate my eyes. And I have really sensitive eyes, so. Yeah, I heard about this stuff first from my friend Tiffany, who, um, she's not on YouTube, but she has a blog, Will Work For Makeup, and that's her Twitter name as well. She's been one of my oldest friends uh, in the beauty community, so love to give her a shout out. Hi, Tiffany, if you're watching. Um, I, of course, I guess that's it. Another thing that I love that I didn't bring out here is um, Secret Deodorant. And another thing is Pond's cold cream with the green lid is also great for taking off eye makeup, but I haven't been using it that much lately, so I thought I would not mention that in this video. But um, I guess that's everything. I just wanted to, you know, do a, a little video for you guys since I haven't filmed anything in a while. And um, Sammy's sleeping next to me right now, so cute. But yeah, my parents are... Um, planning on moving to Chicago. They live in Cincinnati right now. And they've been packing up our stuff from our house. You can see Sammy has taken over <laughs> products on my video. Sammy, what are you doing down there? Hmm? What you doing? You taking all my stuff? You want to film a haul? Or you just want to call some friends? Look, Sammy, there's some some cords and a strap. Don't you want to look at them? I'm such a cat lady. Um, anyways, so I just, um, I ran out of space, obviously, but um, one thing, of course, I will always put in the info bar what I'm wearing on my nails. I did kind of like a pastel um, ice cream sort of manicure today. My hair looks really messy today. This wave thing didn't work out like I'd planned um, and oh I was just saying that um, where's there's some good light there's some good light um, my parents are moving they're planning on selling their house and moving to Chicago because my brother is going to be a dad soon my little baby brother in, uh, in August he's going to be a papa and I'm going to go visit next month but um it's really sad for me because I cannot be there to help my parents pack things up. And um, it's also really stressful for me knowing that they're going through all my stuff and, and packing it up and that I can't like help them sort through it. So um, yeah, I've just been stressed out because of that. And um, you know, just life. Um, so anyways, here's Mouse now too for you to see. mouse hello <laughs> you see these pillows right here 
And you hear that plane? <laughs> Always a goddamn plane. Oh, or no, helicopter, my bad. Um, that's the part of the screen where the, the cats got through. <laughs> well, Sammy went through. And um, I fixed it, but I'm still paranoid. So I put those pillows there so they just ignore it. Just in case it's still weak. I don't want them to to break through it. Sorry, I keep looking at myself because I want to make sure that I'm in the frame. Look, I'm looking at myself. Oh, look at me. Oh, I hate when people do that. Um, but anyways, I am going to be doing a favorites video soon. I also want to do a perfume collection slash nail polish collection because I have them all like pretty much in the same area. And um, also, um, Seth I always called him Seth Akins, <laughs> but I think it's Seth Akins. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Seth. But he tagged me to do a weirdo tag. I think it was called. Oh no, get your. Uh, oh no, not get your freak on. Oh, I can't remember what's called. <laughs> but he tagged me to do a tag video about where you just talk about weird things about yourself. And Lord, can I go on about weird things about myself? I am not your average girl. <laughs> So, um, I'll be doing that too. But, um, I guess that's all. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I missed you guys, and I love ya. And, um, I will talk to you guys soon. Please message me or leave a comment if there's any type of video that you want to see or if you have any questions about anything. I'm always happy to chat. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!